Greetings, people. Tis I, 480 Volts. And I have a very sad announcement. I'm here today to say goodbye to a friend of mine. A long-time friend of mine. Somebody who has been by my side for... nearly 23 years. Hang on, I need some sad music to go with this. What the? Why isn't the key working? Yep. I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, about six keys on this keyboard that don't work anymore. It started with just one, this key right here, which is a key I use all the time, so I couldn't have that, so I cracked it open to try to see if I could fix the problem, <clears throat> and, um... Yeah, the the deeper in I got, the more uncomfortable I felt. So I was like, I better put this back together before I can before I screw it up even more. So I put it back together, and uh, then the rest of the keys stopped working. So yeah, um, I can't use it anymore. Not not in this condition. And given how old it is, there's no point in me trying to find somebody to repair it. I'm not kidding when I say almost 23 years. My dad bought this for me. In 2001, um, this is my Roland RS5. It's been at my side for a very long time. I've, all, I've always had it. I've written songs on it. I've uh, played it at different churches. I've used it on this channel. I've performed uh, covers, remixes, and original pieces on this thing. And uh, We're going to have to put her down today. She's... Uh, She's reached the end of her life cycle, I'm afraid. Almost 23 years. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good run, I think. But a lot of sentimental value attached. And, um, yeah, it's, it's sad. It's sad to let a friend go. I should do the honors of finally laying her to rest.
You will be gone, but never forgotten. But you can be replaced, because something came in the mail today. This is the Novation Impulse 61 key. I've had my eye on this bad boy for a long time. It's a MIDI controller just like this one. First unboxing video ever. There we go. Ta-da! Oh, look at I didn't know the keys were semi-weighted. They actually feel pretty good. They don't feel as weighted as that, but obviously not. Not for 61. Looks like I've got eight volume faders and one master. Uh, buttons. Got a couple different control buttons here. Stop, play, cycle, record. All that can be mapped to different stuff. Some sort of cursor button. Knobs. Transpose. Pitch bend and wheel. And a and a and an eight set of drum pads. Well. Sweet, let's get this puppy hooked up. Let's see, we have um, standard MIDI out ports. And we have a USB MIDI out. And a pedal for expression and a pedal jack, well, pedal jack for expression and a pedal jack for it sustain, which I don't need any of that stuff. Really, all I need is the USB. So, let's go ahead and get this puppy mounted. And, oh, she comes to life. Ooh. Let's get the headphones put on. And let's see where we're at on main stage. Let's see. I gotta assign it. All right, should be assigned. Let's give it a whirl. A little delay there, but there she is. All right, man. The keys feel awesome, actually. Now that I now that I think about it, they feel great. I was not expecting that. I thought they were just standard little non-weighted keys like this bad boy over here, but they're semi-weighted. So they're a balance between this and this. Um, they feel good. They really do feel good. All right, well, the impulse is set up now. I just gotta work it into main stage and, you know, get it all set up, and I gotta clean up this big stack of boxes that I now have, all this cardboard, but yeah, that's great. <sighs> Welcome to the family, impulse. And farewell to the RS5. Alright, thank you guys. You have a fantastic rest of your day. Pieces!